What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at this 2022 GMC Sierra 1500 and see what the outgoing model has to offer. And the model that we're looking at today is a limited Denali finished off in ebony twilight metallic, has the Denali Carbon Pro Edition package and has an MSRP at $72,700. Underneath the hood, this new GMC Sierra utilizes a 6.2 liter naturally aspirated eight cylinder engine. This V8 pumps out 420 horsepower and 460 pound feet of torque, and it's paired to a 10 speed automatic transmission, sending the power to the rear wheels. We, of course, do have the four wheel drive transfer case on this spec. The overall curb weight is around 4,800 pounds and running on a 24 gallon fuel tank, you're looking at 15 miles per gallon in the city with 19 out on the highway. The overall length is 231.7 inches with wheelbase at 147.3. Height is 75 and a half with width at 81.2 inches. And then as far as max towing capacity, it can get as high as 9,100 pounds for the 1500 Sierra and payload can max out at 2,284 pounds. And then now moving on to the exterior styling with the outgoing 2022 model year GMC Sierra Denali. This has a very bold look. You're gonna first and foremost notice the massive chrome grille. You can see all the chrome surrounding it and a very cool mesh in the center. We get the GMC badge right in the center finished in red and you can also see a forward facing camera underneath that. Moving down below, you're gonna see more chrome trim in the lower portion of the bumper with your two metal tow hooks finished off in chrome. We also get parking sensors up front and then more chrome trim in the farthest side of the bumper with LED fog lights and black trim. They have a really cool look to them. The Sierra also features a set of LED headlights with chrome housings. They have a nice C-shaped design fitting very well to this front bumper and they have that aggressive look you're gonna expect on a GMC. The front portion of the hood wraps over the grill with a really cool intake duct design. And then you can see a lot of sharp lines throughout the hood, giving it a very bold look. You can see all the lines leading their way to the windshield and a very flat section towards the center. And then as we move our way to the side profile, part of the Carbon Pro package are these gloss black 22 inch wheels. They're a split five spoke design and they look really nice against the gloss black paintwork. You're also gonna see some plastic black trim around the front and rear fender arches to add some protection to the paint. And then on this front fender, you can see the Carbon Pro badge with the 6.2 liter and GMC logo with a little bit more chrome trim. And then we get a massive Denali badge on the lower side of these front doors. There's very sleek lines running through the side profile of the Sierra, and you can see how they cut towards the bedside. And then down below, you're gonna see a chrome trim piece where the automatic running boards are located. There's even a button on the back side, and if you kick it with your foot in any position, it'll adjust. So you can see how it moves all the way back to give you good access to enter the bed if you're working in there. And of course, when you open and close the doors, they will open in the normal direction. You can tap the icon again, they're gonna automatically fold into place. We also get a set of chrome door handles with chrome mirror caps. There's some plastic black trim, as well as an LED light and a camera on the lower side. We get more chrome trim all around the windows with black B pillars to really add to the classy look of a Denali package. A very clean looking truck from the side profile. We have the full crew cab and the shorter bed. So it's a very proportional looking truck and especially in black, it's a pretty nice looking truck. You can see all these sharp lines and then as you make your way to the rear end, we get a set of LED taillights finished off with full red housings and they fit very nicely within the bodywork. And then at the rear of the Sierra, we get the multi-pro tailgate. This has many different functions that we're gonna show in a second. Up top, you can see two different buttons to open it. You also get an LED light and one of the rear facing cameras. You get a massive GMC badge right in the center with Denali in the center and Sierra on the right. Then we get your metal bumper down below with an integrated step on each side. We also have integrated dual exhaust as well as four parking sensors. Your trailer hitch is right in the center with all the connections by your license plate. And the rear end has really good sharp lines that match the exterior design very well. So we have GMC's key fob, you get the logo on one side, I can lock the truck. Then if I hold down the start stop button, the V8 is gonna roar to life. You can hear it start up, which is really nice touch. Then just pressing the button, it'll shut off. And keeping the key fob in my pocket, all I have to do is grab the door handle, can press the button, and it'll unlock. We can check out this interior. This interior spec is finished off in dark walnut and dark ash gray. It's a really cool brown and gray two-tone. 
as we make our way to the door panel you're going to see that brown color along the top then we get the gray along this armrest there is some good padding on here and then we get a brushed aluminum color for your release handle lock and unlock and all of your memory seating we have window and mirror controls some nice dark wood trim and a grab handle up top we get a full bose audio sound system and a ton of storage in the lower portion of the door and then moving inside you can see just how large the side steps are with your denali badge on the door sill and then all the power controls on the left side of the seat you can see how the two-tone looks for the seats i love all the perforated leather right in the center with the two-tone and all the stitching and then moving our way up the backrest you can get a good look at everything then we even get denali stitched up into the headrest spinning around we get the brown color along the steering wheel with the denali badge right in the center and then now sitting inside keeping my foot on the brake we can fire it up Taking a look at the gauge cluster now, we have an analog tack over on the left with your speedometer to the right, and then we get an LCD screen right in the center. There's some vitals up top for the engine, and then you can use the buttons on the right side of the steering wheel to control what you see through this screen. So right now you can see your digital speed readout. If I scroll to the right, we have information that will come up for a lot of the things within the truck. You can see your tire pressure and all sorts of maintenance. You can continue over to all of your audio. We have navigation, phone, and then a few settings that you can adjust like your heads-up display and things like that. On the steering wheel now, over on the left side, you can see all of your cruise control setting as well as a heated steering wheel icon. Then we have a few more voice commands on the right. And on the back side of the wheel on each side, we have your track buttons and then your volume buttons. On the left side of the steering wheel, we have your turn signal stock with a few controls for the automatic high beams and windshield wipers. And then on the right side, we have your gear selector. And then to the left of the steering wheel, we have an electronic parking brake and then all of your headlight controls as well as the four wheel drive and trailering mode. You can see that brushed aluminum trim along the air vent and then some leather and stitching all along the dash. We do get the heads up display that'll pop up right in the center. Then you can see all the contours along the dashboard with a little bit of storage up top. Over on the right side, we even get two different glove boxes. If you open up the smaller one, you have a little bit of space in here, maybe for like a few cell phones. And then down below, of course, we have the traditional size glove box. You can see the stitching and then a really cool brushed aluminum look surrounding the infotainment screen. And then moving to the screen, you can see all the different icons. We have a shortcut for navigation where you can see the map and everything. Then we also have phone and audio and the same shortcuts will come up down below. And you can see how they're color coordinated to make it a little bit easier. Climate control can come up on here as well. Super easy to adjust everything there. Then we have a few more things and then a main screen up front. And then if I go ahead and put the truck into reverse, our standard backup camera is going to pop up over on the right side with the top down on the left. And on the bottom, you can actually change all the different views. You can scroll through the front view and rear view. Then you have one that you can look at top down for the back as well as the front. We also have another look at a 3D. Then you can see all of your wheels, which is a really cool touch. You can adjust this one to get rid of the top down. Then we have your guidelines on and off. And there's even more cameras you have one in the bed that you can see what's going on back there and i love how you can even do this while driving which is a very cool touch going back into park we'll just hit our home icon underneath that we have a few more controls for all the radio and some shortcuts and then we even get physical climate controls down below so you don't always have to use the screen we have dual zone temperature that you can easily adjust and it will come up on the screen whenever you make an adjustment you have your fan speed and on off right in the center with all the different zones and air conditioning heated and ventilated seats for passenger and driver. Then you can see your lane keeping, parking sensors. You can automatically open up the tailgate and a few other controls. Down below that, we have your trailer brake gain adjustment with all the adjustments down below. Then two USB ports and auxiliaries on the right. We get our wireless phone charging mat right in the center with a little bit of storage. And then two cup holders and more storage in the center. There's a little bit of storage on the side as well as more of that wood trim. And then moving to the center, we get this gray color with the perforated and smooth, a little bit more storage. And then if we just press the button up front, we get a ton of space in here, even with an LED light and USB ports. And then one last look at the interior. The gray color almost comes off as blue. It looks really nice in this interior. And I especially like the brown accent with all the aluminum colors. Up top, you can see the brown headliner with our sunshade opened up for the sunroof. Then in front of that, we have all of your controls for the sunshade as well as the rear sliding glass. And then we get our frameless mirror that can turn into an LCD camera or into a traditional mirror. And then moving to the rear seat space, if I open up the door, the interior door panel is finished off just like we saw up front with all the two-tone colors and even the wood trim. And then this is a three-seater back here with all these same materials. 
I love how the backrests have hidden storage. If we open up this, you can see the amount of space we have in here. You can fit like a water bottle or two, or maybe some tow hooks or straps. And then in the center, of course, we can open up this one. And this is a nice little armrest with more storage. Up in front, we have two air vents as well as USB ports and an auxiliary, two cup holders as well, with a little bit of storage behind the seats. And then if you grab the fronts of these seats, they can lift up and lock into place. And it reveals a ton of floor space to make this a very good truck for storage. All right, so sitting now in the back of the Sierra 1500, this is a pretty large truck and you do get a lot of space. I'm five foot 11 and I have like four inches of headroom. And with the driver's seat set at my height, I have a ton of knee room and foot room as well. So certainly a practical truck for the whole family. You have a pretty good armrest on this side and of course that one in the interior. And being that this center part is sliding, it'll open up for a little bit more airflow. We get two dome lights up top and then we get your grab handles up front. So moving to the bed space now, we have the key fob with a button on it that you can double tap and open up the entire tailgate like a normal truck. However, this multi-pro tailgate actually can open in two separate parts. We have two buttons right here. If I press the upper one, it'll unlock and we can lift this side down and actually use this as a workbench. If you're maybe going fishing, you got your tackle box or maybe a toolbox if this is your work truck, we have a really good chest level bench. And then if I close this one, use the key fob button or press this lower one, it'll automatically open up and it's a soft open. Now here's the really cool thing, right in this back part, you can press a button and open up this area and we now have a built-in bed extender. You have large items in here, you have this area to catch anything and make it nice and secure. On top of that, if we close it and reach down and tap that upper button again, it'll open down now and we can open up where the bed extender was and it's now a step and you can easily step into this tailgate which is extremely usable on the left side, we can even open up this handle and lock it into place, and it makes it really easy to get in and out of this bed, especially if this is a work truck, this is super convenient. And then what you're gonna notice down below, part of the Carbon Pro package is a speaker system. We have a kicker audio system in the tailgate with Bluetooth audio, and it sounds really good. And we even have auxiliaries down below over here where you can charge your device. So you have a really good tailgate design if you're gonna be tailgating at a sporting event, or maybe you're at the racetrack with your dirt bikes. And then all you do is lift this up, lock it into place. It's a little awkward closing this without lifting the whole tailgate. But from there, you just lift it up and close it. And then to move on to the actual bed of this truck, a very cool feature with this carbon package is that this is a full carbon fiber composite bed. It is extremely durable and lightweight. And one thing very cool is how deep it is on the left and right side. It really cuts towards the bedside. This is the biggest bed in its class with a ton of volume and you can see all the durability. There are a ton of tow hooks all around where you can tie down anything that you need and really make this an incredibly useful bed for a pickup truck. All right guys, so we are setting off now in the 2022 Sierra Denali. Put that V8 to work in the 10 speed and we're right up to speed. This is a very powerful truck. I like the engine and power plant. It seems really smooth to drive. And one of my favorite things is the suspension. GMC really does do a great job making their truck stand out a little bit to have that luxury feel. The ride quality is really, really smooth. I believe it's got an air ride suspension package, but you don't really feel any bumps or anything like that. And even when you hit the brakes hard, there's no crazy brake dive or anything like that. It's really smooth. And then getting back up to some speed, we'll give it some gas. <laughs> yeah, not even thinking. The gears are pretty tall too, so you can really just ring it out and get up to speed. So I like the drivetrain for sure, and a ride quality just is really good. Overall noise when you're cruising, kind of getting comfortable in this truck right now, don't really hear much. It's a pretty insulated vehicle. I've been on the highway with it recently. Uh, the seats are really comfortable as well. They have some good padding and pretty good adjustments. Armrests are in a great place, and it really is a truck that you can just rack up some miles on. You know, use this as the daily, use it as your work truck, the family truck, whatever you need to do, the sizing and everything and comfort levels, you really do have it with this truck. As far as the interior, so this is the outgoing model. The newer 2022 model, I believe, is the all new one. And I had the new Yukon for the whole week. And that new interior is really nice with the big screens, the big center screen, and just a much more modern interior. So this truck, it kind of does show its age a little bit. This design has been around for quite some time. And with the new generation Sierra around the corner, that one is gonna look way nicer with the whole new design. 
So I like how the new one's coming out and it's gonna be very, very nice and up to par with what the rest of the trucks are doing in this class. So this one, yeah, it's a little bit dated with a smaller screen, half the screen in the center, you know, it has some analog gauges to it, but it's not bad, you know, not everybody really does like the newest things. So now is the chance if you want a brand new truck fully loaded, but you still want a more basic, simple interior, now is the time to snag up one of these last remaining 2022 models for this generation, because obviously the new ones are coming out. But overall, it's pretty nice in here and easy to use. So then switching over to the point of view so you guys can immerse yourself in the GMC Sierra. As far as visibility and the view out, you can tell you're in a pretty big truck, which is obviously a cool aspect to a truck that is a full size like it is. But you can see some contours in the dash as well as the hood. And you have a really huge view and the heads up display and everything. I love this center camera slash mirror. You get your normal rear view, but then the camera is very helpful. Mirrors do a pretty good job. They are a little small, I would say, for such a big truck. I'm used to trucks like this having ones that are a little bit taller, but overall, you know, they still do the job. When you look over your left and right shoulders, you have pretty much no blind spots. Most trucks like this are going to have really good visibility. And the cool thing that is in this truck that most trucks don't seem to have, when you tap the camera button, it'll actually turn on no matter how fast you're going for like eight seconds. You can see that front view camera and a top down, which is a really cool touch, especially if you have things in the back or you need to monitor something when you're driving. And you can even switch it over. So if I have dirt bikes in the back or you know something in there, you gotta check on it, make sure everything is still in place. You can use that while driving. But then just normal driving back in the truck certainly is nice and comfortable, high up. Uh, really not too many complaints, especially since the new one's coming out. You know, you can't really fault this truck anymore since there's a replacement with all the new fancy technology. This gear shifter a little bit old. I'm pretty sure the new one's gonna have the buttons like in the Yukon. But I think that is about it then for this 2022 GMC Sierra. We got the cool Carbon Pro package, which is basically that carbon fiber composite bed along with the speaker system back there. And then this one has the really cool black wheels. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and stay tuned for plenty more content to come.